Hello, everybody. We're back with another episode of Making Comics. Actually, this time we're going to make a sketch card. We're here with Eric. Wilson. LJ. All right, so uh, what's called? This is one of the Star Wars sketches you've done, but this is who's the first sketch card company that you worked for? The very first sketch card company I worked for was the first one, as far as I'm aware, was the first ones to ever do sketch cards, which was for the Marvel Fleer set back in 19... Ought, no. Uh, 19 ought. <laughs> 19 ought to, no. Um, this is back at 1990, I think, f- 6 or 1998. Okay. When sketch cards were first being done. Um, we basically was contacted by Fleer. Now, I'm not sure Marvel owned them yet at the time. But this was during, this was during a time where Marvel cards were a big thing. And somewhere along the line, the card company decided, hey, let's put original sketch cards in into the packs so you know you buy a box of cards you were guaranteed at least one sketch card per pack and i was one of the very first sketch card artists uh to do this um because you're old well that and and the funny thing was is that they need they had more cards than they had artists okay so uh either a lot of the comic artists didn't want to do it because they were busy doing comics or they could only do so much and, but they needed a lot more. So a lot of the bullpen guys were called in uh, to do sketch cards. So it was um, it was just basically do a sketch on a card. And that's all that was needed. But then people started doing marker rendering. Some people worked in oils and, and doing so much more, kind of topping each other. Well, this is just uh, pencils, but you traditionally ink and color your sketches, right? Usually, for my sketch cards, uh, there's been there are a bunch out there still in pencil in the kind of a gray tone pencil thing because that's what is is what is the requirement is to do a sketch. But if I have the time, I usually like to do a pencil and ink sketch, and when I can color, because uh, as a as a comic book colorer colorist, colorist I, as a colorist. I, I think I should, you know, do my cards in color, but it's how much time I have to do them. Um, you know, sometimes I get asked to do about three, 300 cards, 200 cards. There's in only a day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a day. I've, uh, I could do maybe 70 in a day if I had to, but that means no hold on, sleeping. Stop, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> You can do 70 in a day. I have done 70 in a day, and I haven't done it since that one time I did 70 in a day. Okay, what is your average at least? My average at least, I would like to do about 20 cards a day. Okay. Um, now, this is what I, the way I do it is 20 cards in pencil. Then the next day, do 20 more cards in inks, and then do 5 to 10 in color. Because I like a, at least a day in between of the inks to really dry on the cards before I go in with the markers because you could smudge the inks. Okay, now what's called... Um, fast forward, you're now, you now get uh, on a regular basis calls to do Star Wars, crypt, uh, Cryptozoic, is that another Crypto, company? Okay, so Tops, I, I've done Star Wars and Mars Attacks. Okay. Cryptozoic, I've done uh, Tarzan, uh, DC-52, um... What's the one with the zombies? Uh, the Walking Dead. Okay. And uh, that's what I have did for, for Cryptozoic. And then for Upper Deck, I've done uh, Marvel's uh, Captain America, the first Avenger, uh, Thor, and what was called Marvel's First. Uh, so I did those sets. And then um, I'm being tapped now to do, by the time this comes out, I should have cards for Upper Deck. Uh, it's been years since I've worked for Upper Deck, actually. Uh, I should be, I'll be working on Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so uh, with this... Oh, another name drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are the jobs that I'm working on. So um, with something like this, do you decide on... Like, do you do a bunch of... Since you're doing, like, 300... Do you do? Do you clone them basically? Like I'm gonna do twenty Boba Fett's today, or I'm gonna do. I have in the past, um, but from what <coughs> I understand, the, the the collectors don't really like it. Uh, I was doing it mainly for speed because, um, again, sometimes I've been calling to do sets after the the sets have been done, and some artists did not finish them. They did not make the deadline, right. so. 
they'll be lacking a bunch of cards. So I, I come in to kind of fill, I came in to fill in those gaps. Right. So I would do Since it. Since you're actually dependable, they call you to do stuff. Right. So I, I come in and, and I fill in the gaps where I can. I try to make them as unique as possible. But in some in some cases, we have to get the cards out as quickly as possible. Um, there have been some changes uh, in the sense of how I've been doing it, where I would now do kind of sets, where I do a sets of just in pencils, I'll do a sets in just in inks and then colors. So this way here, there are different formats of the cards out there. I'm going to be doing some in watercolor to play around with that, um, just because I haven't done that before. Uh, so I really get to experiment and, and a company like Tops, they really encourage you to do your own style. So there's a bunch of them out there done in the eight spot comic strip style. Really? Yes, where it's uh, very cartoony, cartoony colored and, and our big, big eyes. Okay. Well, there you are. You finished, the, did your bubble fit and you need to clip your thumbnail. Dude, your <laughs> hands are huge. Yeah, it's really <laughs> close up and... Um, you know, it's it's just weird seeing your nails that close and and seeing the image that close because I'm not on top of the page like that <laughs> as usual. So, uh, but this one has been inked and chances are it's been colored and it's out there. All right. So you might be able to get it in the packs. All right. Well, what's called? This has been an episode of uh, Making Comics with Eric, Minnie Wilson, LJ. <laughs> See ya.